Let me show you a trick of how you can use GPT to work with your search terms. The problem is if you go into your Google Ads account and you look at all the search terms for which your ads have been showing, that list can get quite long. And so to manually go through that list and decide whether something should be added as a keyword or excluded as a negative keyword can take quite a bit of time. But GPT can help you with this. So here's what you do. You grab all of the search terms that are neither added nor excluded. I've just made a filter for that. And then I've gone ahead and downloaded all of those into a Google Sheet. So there are too many search terms to process in a single interaction with GPT. So I'm going to put a filter on this and I'm going to sort all of these search terms from highest to lowest number of impressions. Then from here, I can grab a bunch of them, a little bit more than 100. For this, I'm going to use GPT 3.5 because it's a little bit faster than GPT 4. It's also a little bit cheaper. I've already pre-written the prompt and the prompt is basically saying, give me a table with the relevance of the following keywords for a company that sells PPC management software. So I'm gonna put that in there and then here's what the system says. Now note that we haven't really defined what relevance means. So it's doing its own thing as far as what it means to be relevant. It also has its own scoring, so it goes from low, medium to high. It also says a few things might be irrelevant for our company. And so this is really helpful because you can now look through this list and you can figure out where to focus your time and your efforts as you try to find new negative keyword ideas.